Well, big triple header coming up this weekend, May 21st. is Saturday. Vanas Monteroj and Erislandi Lara are topping the card. And you have John Jackson versus Jamel Chalo. And my favorite fight on the card, and the most intriguing fight, in my opinion, on the card, is Jamal Chalo, who will be defending his IBF Junior Middleweight Champion versus former champion Austin Trout. WBA Junior Middleweight Champion, that is. You know, this is a very, very intriguing matchup. And, you know, the people I'm talking to about this fight, it's amazing to me because a lot of people are going with Trout for the upset in this matchup. And if you like Trout, I'm going to let you know right off the bat, he's a plus 360, while Jamal Charlo is a minus 450. And I'm real high on these Charlo brothers. I really like these Charlo brothers. I think they got a huge upside. I think they got a ton of potential. And the thing I like about these Charlo brothers is I watch them coming up. And obviously, when you're building a fighter, you build them up gradually. You put him in there uh, with fighters who he can kind of learn his way and walk his way through the fight with. Guys who aren't world beaters, obviously, in the beginning stages of a fighter's career. And the thing I liked about the Charlo brothers is they didn't fight down to the level of their opposition. When you see a lot of young fighters coming up, sometimes they get a little overly aggressive, a little over sloppy in a fight. And I think both Charlo brothers are really, you know, schooled textbook fighters and they do everything pretty well. And they, and they do things the right way. They have great technique, in other words. They're very methodical, patient, relaxed in there. And when you watch them fight, both of them don't have a ton of experience, even though Jamal is the champion right now. They both don't have a ton of experience, but they fight well beyond the years. Um, I like Jamal a little better than Jamal because I think he's a little bit more explosive. He's definitely the harder puncher. And you can just see that with the amount of knockouts he has compared to his brother Jamel. But again, you know, solid fighter all around. Does everything pretty well. They're both trials are very quick. And I think Jamal is the type of fighter who works very well behind the jab. Um sets up his shots very well. Has good balance. Doesn't really throw wide shots. Everything is pretty either straight down the middle or or tight, compact, short uh, shorten shots up when he needs to, and just a very fluid combination puncher, and he's got a real powerful right hand, real sneaky right hand, and you know, he's got some solid names on the resume, definitely doesn't have the type of opponents that Austin Trout has on there, but you have to say to yourself, when Austin Trout did step up against um, Canelo, when he did step up against Irislandi Lara, um, you know, he came up short. And when he had fought mid-level guys, you know, uh, like um, Delvin Rodriguez, um, guys of that nature, he did okay in those fights, but he really never set the world on fire. He's the type of guy where, you know, he's not an overly aggressive guy. He tries to be a counterpuncher, tries to set traps. But um, in a lot of his fights... He really, really looks to be kind of tentative at times. And when he gets hit with a few hard shots, like when when Alvarez hit him with a good right hand, knocked him down, he got back up, and he kind of was a little bit timid, kind of was a little bit less aggressive. And even, in, like, going back to the Delvin Rodriguez fight, uh, you know, guys like uh, David Lopez, seemed like, you know, he was levels above those guys, and... Just You just kind of expected more from him in those fights. And he seems to just go into cruise control. And you know, in, in the Lara fight and in the Canelo fight, as I said, got hit with a few hard shots. And he just basically really seemed to fight tentative. Just kind of threw um, touch punches, get off me punches, you know, keep away from me punches. And that leads me to believe what happens if the heavy-handed, explosive... Jamal Chilo lands something really hard. Will he kind of lay back a little bit and become overly defensive like he has shown to do in other fights? So Austin Trout is a pretty quick guy, not a huge puncher. 
Um, has a real sneaky left hand. He's got a pretty decent right jab too. So he's kind of a crafty southpaw, but he he approaches the fight and and tries to be a slick counter puncher. But sometimes, you know, he gets he gets caught he, when he's laying back waiting on his opponent. Sometimes they land the shot and he can't really time it properly and seen him get hit with right hands straight up through the guard. So, you know, he's shown some weaknesses straight up the middle. We've seen Iris Landi Lara, you know, pick him apart down the middle with the straight lefts. And um, even Canelo Alvarez landed that big sneaky right hand right through the guard and, and knocked him down. So this fight, you know, even though he's got the experience, I still think that Charlo has some more athletic gifts. I think he's quicker. I think he hits harder. Um, I think he's solid defensively. So I, I, I just see him being better in every single area than Austin Trout. You know, and I think, you know, he likes to start the fight fighting on the outside, but, you know, he will jab his way in, he'll feint his way in, and once he gets inside, you know, he'll put shots together, he'll dig to the body, he'll come upstairs with short hooks and short right hands. So he can fight up close in um, very well from a distance. And again, he's patient. He's patient. But if you give him that little space, he'll capitalize on it. You make that one little mistake, he'll capitalize on it. And, you know, and if he hurts you, he will go in for the kill. He has a killer instinct where I don't think Austin Trout has that killer instinct. You know, he's a boxer first, counter puncher first. And sometimes that, that works against him, as I said, because he's, he just waits and waits and waits and just throws little pitter-pat punches, and, you know, that doesn't always work against guys who aren't uh, lower-level guys. That, that may work against certain opponents, but I don't know if it's going to work against a guy like Jamal Chalo, who's quick, who just kind of parry those shots and just step right in with, you know, with his own jab. You know, he'll be catching and shooting a lot in this fight. He'll just step, step to Austin Trout, and I think he can land something big, and, and really just put Austin Trout on the defensive a lot in this fight. And I just think because of his uh, physical advantages and speed and explosiveness and power, I think he's going to win the more telling blows. I think he's going to be pushing Austin Trout back. And I think Austin Trout may get overly defensive again. And it's going to be almost impossible not to score the rounds for Charlo because he's, he's going to be landing the harder, cleaner, more effective blows. Whereas Trout... What he tends to do sometimes is, th you know, goes into that defensive shell and throws those get off me punches. So I don't think that's going to win him rounds in this fight. So I don't see a major, I don't see the major upset in this fight like a lot of people are seeing. I think, uh, you know, if this is a young man's game. I think Trout isn't really old, but you know he's been in some tough fights. To me, it looks like he slowed down just a bit. And I think this is Charlo's time. I think this is um, Jamal Charlo's time. I think, you know, him, his brother, um, Demetrius Andre, I, I think these guys are the guys to watch in this division right now. I mean, Iris Landi Lara, still a force too. But, um, you know, I think those are the guys to watch. As much as I, I like Austin Trotter as a fighter, I respect Austin Trotter as a fighter. You know, he has a lot of heart. He comes to fight. But, you know, he is what he is. I don't think there's anything spectacular about Austin Trout other than the fact that he's just um, a solid fighter, but he's not an exceptional fighter. There's nothing that he does that really stands out that's going to really prob be problematic for Jamal Chalo in this fight. So I'm going to go with the younger, um, you know, more physically gifted um, Jamal Chalo, and who's also a very all-around solid boxer. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Charlo in this fight. Uh, I wouldn't rule out a stoppage, but uh, you know Austin Trout never has been stopped before. He knows how to hang in there. He can go into survival mode and last. So I'm just gonna go with Jamal Charlo. I think he's gonna win a pretty clear cut unanimous decision in this fight. I just don't see the upset. All right, guys, that's all I got for now. Until next time, talk to y'all soon. Enjoy the fight Saturday. Peace.